Welcome everyone to another episode of Raw Talking It. Definitely not a Pokemon podcast. Or maybe it is. I'm Andrew, aka Titus. That's Joe, aka might be Joe. Possibly Joe. Ooh, ooh Joe? Oh, no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I, I'm fine with not that. I'm fine with not that. <laughs> Anything but that. You know what? We're gonna start <laughs> we're gonna start this off with a question that I've uh that we kind of we kind of touched in the in the little pre-show here, uh, www.twitch.tv slash Titus two one seven two. Um, if you have two identical lasagnas, and then you stack them on top of each other, do you have one lasagna or two lasagnas? Um, begin. <laughs> I, was this? A, did you didn't start actually listening to a hot dog as a sandwich? Did you? No. Okay. That's the this was on mythical, the Rooster Teeth podcast recently. That was the mythical chef, mythical kitchen, mythical chef guy has a podcast podcast of a hot dog as a sandwich. I think it's two lasagnas on what? the grounds that lasagna has a crispy broiled cheese topping. No, it does not. Which does not go away when you stack it in the specific and, you, and yeah. you cannot you cannot achieve that layer unless it is separate uh, that's, however that's not true the official like the official there's like no official like definition of what a lasagna is so that is not necessarily true uh so here's it is two lasagnas if you just stack them on top of each other and you've got basically crispy bottom layer adjacent to crispy top layer however if you treat it like a layered cake and you put some ricotta or whatever between the two lasagnas, it is now one lasagna. Mm. So you're in the two That's... lasagna. You're in the two lasagna. Camp. Well, I'm saying you can make it one lasagna, but it requires extra effort and materials. Okay, so my question, then my next question is if I have a piece of lasagna, or if I have one lasagna and I cut it in half, do I now have two separate lasagnas? Uh, I mean, no. Why not? You have a. I have a half lasagna. Well, yeah. You just like, you had one lasagna. But it's a per if it's a perfectly good lasagna by have, itself. You still have you still have one lasagna, and then you cut it in half. You have two half lasagnas. Right, but that that could also just be one lasagna. Yeah, that's because one half plus one half equals one. No, 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 no. That one half could just be a whole lasagna. I'm not saying it can't be that if you, but that requires a certain amount of packaging and marketing. But if I have a pan, <laughs> mini lasagna, I, if, I, if I made an entire pan of lasagna and I took out half of it and then said, I made one lasagna for, for dinner tonight, people would be like, where's the rest? But like, if you brought out half of it and it had been cut and you brought it out on a plate and you said, I made a lasagna tonight, no one would notice or care. Yeah, see, so there you go. So that's all about the packaging and presentation. If you cut it in, if you cut it in half, yeah, you technically have two lasagnas. <laughs> no, no. I don't know you what do camp lasagnas. I don't know what camp I'm in, uh, but it was a it was a question that's being debated about right now all over my Twitter feed because I follow a lot of people from Rooster Teeth, and it is hilarious to see what's going on. Oh well, I mean, okay. So then I guess my question to pose to you is. Is butt legs. Is butt legs. Is your is butt, butt legs. Legs, yes. But you think butt is legs? Why or is it is not? Or butt is butt? Butt is legs. Butt is also butt, but butt is also legs. Like, mm. your finger, your thumb is a finger, but not all fingers are thumbs. I've been so detached from the butt is legs controversy for a while that I'm forgetting <laughs> all the finer points. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Are they master debaters? You could say that. Semi pro, to... baby. We're just, we're just married guys, you know? It's fine. That's the joke, right? You right, guys don't get laid. Ha ha ha! Let's drag that into the ground, idiots. Anyway, I don't. I don't know. 
I think it. I think it could be both. I'm in. I'm in. I don't. I personally don't care. It could absolutely be one lasagna or two lasagnas. It really kind of just kind of depends on the eye of the beholder. But that's just what it is. That's my opinion. My opinion. Can't wait for us to blow up. People find this later and then be like, oh, you're wrong, stupid. I'm like, I know. It happens a lot, actually. I'm also wrong. Wait, okay, okay, okay. So this is actually a good question. If you're an ass man rather than a boobs man, which is the correct choice, am I also a legs man? Or does that make me a legs and ass man? Okay, so are you telling me that you don't like to look at legs? Are you are you are you just are you saying yeah, are you telling me straight up that you don't like to look at some nice juicy thighs? Like is that the is that the conversation we're having right now? Because if that's the conversation we're having, I don't know what is what it is to live for. Yeah, see? Silence. I don't know. Silence from the chat. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I, oh, this is right. This was one of the more finer points of the butt is legs argument was if butt is legs, then what is butthole? If butt is legs, then what is butthole? Yeah, all right. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. If butt is legs, what is butthole? <laughs> Just a separation of the uh, legs, man. Like, come on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Sh we'll watch this later, but I will. I will share this. I will share this video in the general chat of the Discord. Okay. Uh, for your viewing pleasure. Butt is legs. It's the. It's the great. But is legs manifesto. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I've heard it before, and I've always thought about it. I was like, I, I yeah, I guess so. Because because the other thing is, if butt is legs, is shoulder arm. Yes, we've talked about this before. It's shoulder yeah. arm. Uh, <laughs> technically, yes. Because then, because so it. it it goes to well. Wait, 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 wait. No, shoulders, torso. Like this is torso. Then, then like, butt is torso. Is butt torso? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's let's break this down. <laughs> we're pausing everything we're doing. Let's break this fucking. Let's just, break this shit. No, down. no. Okay, no. Bring over the manifesto. Just put it on top. <laughs> just put it on top of the other program. We'll watch it, <laughs> and we'll determine. We can't do that, though, because then if we upload it to YouTube, we'd we'll be like, hey, you have somebody else's shit, you're shit, get out of here. I don't know how that works. Is that fair use? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what fair use is, but I don't Nobody I watches our content anyway. We'll, we'll probably won't get dinged for it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if it gets dinged, just, just don't have it all on the screen. Oh, right, right, right. It has to be partially off the screen with... I don't know. Well, there's fair use, and I don't know how fair use works. I it, look. YouTube doesn't even know how fair use works. This is a that is a very true statement. Like I don't. So a shoulder arm. Fuck. No. Okay. <laughs> let's think about it this way. All right. Let's think about this way. Let's think about this way. You have a pelvic bone, right? You know. The little triangle I mean, piece. There is the pelvis, and then there's the coccyx, the tailbone. Yeah, we're talking about the whole thing, though. This is how you have the whole pelvic region bone, right? Right. Well, but your coccyx is not attached to your pelvis. I think. Your pelvis is your hip. Is neck head? That's a good question. Neck is neck. Neck is not head. <laughs> unless you're... <laughs> unless, unless you're really fat, then yes, neck is head. <laughs> like this. Oh, we're getting this is this is where we're going today. I can already tell the energy of this stream is gonna be fucking ridiculous. Let me take off my fucking jacket. <laughs> getting fucking riled up over this nonsense. Oh my god. Uh, okay. For the record, I think butt is butt. I do not think butt is legs. I think butt is legs. You know? I don't know. I don't know. 
I could be convinced otherwise. Because, like, again, you know, you have your, you have the pelvic shape, and then you have your, your, your joint that connects into the, into the pelvic region, right? That would be the leg. Where does that, where, where, where does leg end? Where does butt start when it comes to that joint in your, in your skeleton? Well, I mean, that's the problem. The butt... The butt's butt, just fat underneath it's skin just tissue. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's just fat and fat and skin and some muscles. And protects butthole from being all gross and get destroyed and stuff. Give or take, yes. Uh, so is butt torso? Fuck! <laughs> it, here, here's the other argument I had. If somebody, if you, if somebody had their legs chopped off, probably still have a butt. You can have no legs and have a butt. All right, fair. I've been persuaded. I am now the butt is butt in the butt is butt clan. I am no longer in leg is butt. Butt is butt. But his butt. We can watch the manifesto after stream. But his butt. But his torso. You got Rob magic. So so torso is from shoulders to butt. Yes. So is if neck somebody head. was only a, if somebody was only a torso and a, and a, a head, I would expect them to still have a butt. So is neck head, probably. Oh no, neck is neck. Neck is neck, right? Neck is not head. Yeah, neck is neck. Oh no. Neck is neck. Oh, no. That was fun. <laughs> half and in half. your game news, you're already at level nine. Like, yeah, we can just warp wing out of here pretty soon. Yeah, you get your base almost done, and then we can just basically steamroll. Probably want to do. Well, yeah. Well, I think we have to do a tournament next. I don't know if we have another. Uh... We gotta level up our I... goal sign. So we're tech. Yeah. We're, so we're definitely... we need to level up this guy, breed it, level it. We're definitely not a Pokemon podcast, but Joe came up with a brilliant fucking idea for our next. Uh, in all, in all fairness, we're all talking a thing that he totally did not YouTubers. steal. He totally, Other absolutely popular people came up with this idea, and then I stole it because I thought it would work well. Totally for original format. idea that has <laughs> not been done by other YouTubers or PokeTubers or people. This is original, hundred percent idea. Go ahead, go ahead, lay it on them. What are we gonna do? It's it's hard to explain without pictures and images and things. Not really. Oh god, right. This thing can learn so many freaking attacks mm -hmm. because it's got what the fuck is lush licks? Uh licks an enemy to stop it from attacking. Oh, okay. Nap attack. I don't think you need all the I don't think you need all those status ailments. That said, I do think that Gold Slime is gonna be a I think Gold Slime, or sorry, yeah, Gold Slime is going to be a mostly support thing, so I think you can drop some of those actual attacks. I dropped Blaze because um, uh, our Centauri yeah. has it already. Um, so basically the idea is I have been watching a little bit more of the PokeTuber content scene recently, and a couple of them, in particular Patters, who is an actual straight-up PokeTuber, he does a little bit of other stuff, but it's like 95% totally original stuff. idea. And then Game Boy Luke, who I think does have a little bit more variety, but also is lots and lots of Pokemon. And they did. They had some people. I don't know if they had if they like. Asked these other people to do it. Or if they were already doing. I don't know exactly how that arrangement worked, but basically. They played a ROM hack of Pokemon X and Y, and they've also done it with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm actually watching that one now, where it was a few things. Thing number one, it was a randomizer with all of the Pokemon. It was, they did it as a versus, so they were racing each other, theoretically, though they did not take the race part too seriously until like the last episode, basically. It was a Nuzlocke, though they gave themselves multiple lives. And then in particular, 
they called it a shiny lock because they could only use shiny Pokemon. Now, to make that feasible, they, number one, turned up the shiny rates for the base game. And number two, between, like, progression episodes, they would have episodes where they'd go do the, like, they would do streams where they do the whole, like, one encounter per root Nuzlocke rule thing. And they would only use shinies and they would have the shiny rates turned up even more. I think they did like one in 50 so that it took a little while, but like not that long. And they would get shiny Pokemon. And then there were, they had a bunch of other fluff and rules to make it a whole big thing. And they were both playing two different versions of the game. It was a whole big thing. But the most interesting part and the thing that was the coolest is they, these were both X and Y and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon are both the games where they had 3D models, right? X and Y being the first one like that. And they had the ROM hack had basically modified all the shiny models to be custom shinies, which is to say that like they retextured every single Pokemon's shiny form and not just like, oh, some of them are like, oh, it had a pink shiny, but now it's green instead. Like there's a little bit of that, but they also do they added like patterns to things and they added, they did a lot of really, really cool stuff. Some of them are pretty basic where it's just like, yeah, it's just a different color. <laughs> oh, I just saw that. Oh my God. That's rough. Oh, I don't think we have any. Do you have warp staff? Wings. Warp staff takes you to the whole warp wing takes you home. Thank God. I do so have you, a warp you do staff. have a warp staff. That's hilarious. But no, so they have custom shiny models where the effects are like different and interesting and like look really, really cool. And of course, because there's so many Pokemon, like I watched them do this playthrough and between the streams and the ones they used on this uh, on the channel, I saw maybe maybe 30 or 40 of the total shinies, which is like 5% of them or something like that. So the idea was basically to do the same thing where but no verses. I don't think we'd need to try to coordinate that. Nah, we wouldn't um, do a versus. We wouldn't do anything like that. We wouldn't do a Nuzlocke because who cares? We wouldn't do, um, like we wouldn't do a lot of those other things. A Nuzlocke isn't terrible, just because. Well, and it's not just because we like... also don't. We also don't really care because like, we're just doing it for fun. So if we do it, we do it. But like. And they did multiple lives, and they Dragon Rage Claws, if you get hit by Dragon Rage early in the game, that's bullshit, and everyone knows that, so, like, that doesn't count and all that kind of stuff. True. Dragon um, Rage is bullshit. I, it's bullshit at level one when you don't even have that much HP or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the basic idea was just that we could take that thing, that version of the game, which has these ridiculous awesome shinies, we just turn the shiny rate to like one in 25. So they pop up frequently, but not always. And, and we just go. stomp through the game, ignore the story. Did you actually get it to level 10? Yep. Okay. I thought it was only level nine. Nope. Yeah. We just, you just stomp through the story. You don't pay attention to the dialogue because who cares? You don't pay. You just do it for fun. And we just look for cool shinies and, and have like, a good time. have a good old grand old just, time. Yeah. It's Pokemon. You got the EXP share. X and Y was notoriously not that difficult anyways. Like, no, it wasn't. Uh, X friend, and Y, if you leave the cool. EXP share on from the moment you get it, it's just never actually difficult. No. Really oh, so real fast. Difficult. For Gold Slime, I do believe your Spot King needs to be the pedigree. Okay. So I believe you should just do Spot King, Queen. Gold Golem, and you should get gold slime though he may do the thing where he doesn't tell you what it is wait what oh whoops a new monster if you want to that should be fine if you want to you could do the like emulator safe state Beep. if you felt like it yeah, I am. that way you could skip around yep, we're good. the in-game save if we fucked up we're good we're good we're good or we could just say, if you fuck up, who cares? So yeah, who uh, who would think a Pokemon run while we talk is a fun idea with a bunch of shinies? Let us know. Because it's either that yeah. or we play the Pokemon training card game. Bagel Slime! Yeah. Yeah, hey! I just want you to know, this is definitely me vicari living vicariously through you. I've always wanted to try and do this and get the Gold Slime. 
but I always went for other stuff, and so it was never He's like ugly. a high priority to actually get the gold slime. I'm just gonna name him Gold. I have gotten a couple other really cool monsters that you that you will not be getting. I got the best bird in the game. He was really cool. I got this armor thing that's actually like a really late game boss. I got a handful of things, but I've never gotten the gold slime. Oh, it's a emperor slime. I didn't. I, I just assumed it was a gold slime. I assumed that that was just a thing. Yeah, that's emperor slime. Okay. I mean, there are gold slimes. There, oh, sorry, not a, not an emperor slime. The emperor slime is the regular color one. This is a gem slime. Mmm. I apologize. I'm a fucking terrible Dragon Quest knowledge person. Um, I, I I know this also because I have a emperor slime in Dragon Quest Tactics right now. He's pretty good. Yeah. At at this point, we should be able to just... We're going to level them up a little bit, and then we'll uh, just steamroll through some of the tournaments. Yeah, I'm try I was looking at... We could use the great drac we have later to get... So uh, there's obviously the slime class, the dragon class, the plants, mm -hmm. the beasts, mm -hmm. etc., right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a boss class, which... As to my, as far as I know, none of these except for maybe one of them actually show up as like bosses in the game. Like these are monsters which in this game do not actually appear naturally anywhere. Huh. Like they're only accessible by these very specific breeding pairs. Interesting. And and unfortunately, most of them, it's like you you breed and you get one boss and then you have to use that boss to get the next one they have to use the next one to get the next one and they oh, like, like chain a... together like yeah, that yeah 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 so like the odds that we ever actually get many of these are very low however the very first one takes a great drac as a recipe hmm. it's a great drac plus a thing called a servant which is a really high level devil monster which we could maybe attempt to get later because it should not actually be that difficult to get. Like, it's got some complicated things in it, but ultimately not that many. Like, by the time we get to the late game, we'll be seeing some pretty powerful monsters. So we could try and do that later if we wanted to. We'll see. We'll Just see how far we get, get the first one. But the bosses, I'll, I'll see if any of these names sound familiar to you. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. There's Draco Lord 1 and Draco Lord 2. Draco Lords, huh? There's Hargon. Sido, Sido. Is that the wood? Baramos. Uh, is Sido the wood one? You look like a tree. Sido looks like a <laughs> four armed devil thing. Oh. The. Demon face and wings. Sido, Baramos, Zoma, Pizarro, Esterk, Mirudas 1 and Mirudas 2. Mirudras 1, Mirudras 2. Mudo, Deathmore 1, Deathmore 2, Deathmore 3, and Dark Dream. No, these all sound like they're. Um... Wait. Dark Dream? Yes. It sounds like one of the Headless Knight guys. He has a big ass shield and then like his face is a mm, thing. No. But I don't know if that's actually what they are. I don't think so. But that's what it sounds like. But that one is actually crazy because so spoilers for the end of this game. Spoilers, guys. Or uh so you know how there's Wadaboo and Waraboo? The little like Got the like the one that kidnaps your sister, and then the one that yeah, comes and gets you. The ones that are guys. helping us, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. There's one helping us, and the one that took the sister. Yep. Waraboo. I'm gonna open my very. I think is drink. the enemy one. And you can actually breed a Waraboo. 
Really? Uh, no, sorry, you don't get Warabu at all. Excuse me. But Wadabu. What's up, Art? Wadabu will join you at like the end of the game or something like that. Really? And the very, very final super boss, whatever, can only be achieved by breeding the specific thing with the Wadabu. And that is the only way to get it. And you can only get one Wadabu per file. So you can like absolutely mess it up so you can't get it. How smart things go in, Artisan? Um, I need to look if we have um, practice on the site. Oh, really? They're not going that good? Is Smite just being broken? Or just not feeling it today? Or both? Oh, that fucking sucks. Then yes, that's that's pretty ass. And by the way, we do have practice tomorrow. I do have practice on Saturday. Ha 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 ha. I'm glad I looked, because I was unsure. Um. Ooh, look, ice stuff. Does this have harness ram? <laughs> you know how the dirt did two damage every time you walked over it? It was like four, right? Because it just did an ass ton. Ten for the ice. Oh my fuck. <laughs> boy and word. because remember the terrain is like procedurally generated so you know that shitty that dirt path that we warped past earlier yup that can happen with the ice that's some that's some bullshit and that would just KO you that's like some... almost nothing would be able to live with like bullshit that. and they do kill you it does not leave you at 1 HP it, it kills stuff well luckily we have stuff that knows um, how to heal so yeah. We're good. We're, we're Yeah, good. you would absolutely need that. We're doing fine. Oh, so yeah. at the beginning of the pre-show stuff, we were um, discussing some Minecraft. And this has come up mostly because like we have a friend group that's talking about doing a game. And then like we got this topic of other games. What the fuck? Oh my god, Pokemon slide puzzles. Oh, yeah, and you don't get a map for this either. Your map doesn't work here. Fuck me. Anyway, um, and we got in the con conversation of, of Minecraft and how... I mean, I played Minecraft a ton, and I don't think vanilla Minecraft is very fun anymore, but that's because I play a lot of modded Minecraft. But I think modded Minecraft is a fucking blast. Um, I, think, I think that if I had a couple friends who wanted to uh i would i would absolutely be down to play vanilla survival minecraft vanilla minecraft like, is fine but i've played it so many times and so it's like eh. but i've played like the mods of like sky factory where like if you've never seen these mods before you literally start on a tree on a one piece of of dirt and you destroy the tree and then you make planks and you make uh, all the planks around and that tree will also drop saplings and you plant it again and you hit shift a bunch to hump the tree so that it comes back to life but you do just you do this over and over and over again until you like and then it steadily starts to grow on things you can do so you'll eventually do these things where you'll you'll do this tree and then so far like sky factory 3 you would get a tree and then you would make a, um, what is it? No, that's Sky Factory. Sorry, Sky Factory. Four, you get a tree, and then you make a dirt tree, and then you make a stone tree, and then you make a sand tree. You make all these different trees. And then you can do a thing where you get these little pots, and you put the tree in the pot, and it'll automatically grow and do the resources so you don't have to cut it down every time. And, like, it just keeps escalating from there, where eventually you can get, like, nuclear power and do all kinds of crazy shit. And it's a lot of fun unironically that just I, I keep saying it unironically that makes me think you will like raft because that is effectively how oh i know I, I know i would like raft i'm absolutely raft is you start in the middle of the ocean with uh on a teeny tiny raft and all you have is a hook that lets right. you get stuff out of the water and there's a shark attacking you 
and you just have to go you just have to roll with it and let the wind take you where it's going to take you yeah exactly and that's what like modern mine like these modern minecrafts that i play are kind of like that where it's like everything starts to slowly build on that you get this one thing that leads to this thing that leads to this thing and then it leads to like these branching things the one i'm playing right now is called stone block and the main thing to get resource in that is breeding chickens the chickens that you breed will just instead of dropping eggs or whatnot they'll just drop uh the materials that the chicken is so like you can get a redstone chicken it will drop redstone hmm. and so it's very fun and i think i think Oof, modern minecraft the is hole. a very fun thing to experience okay i think you need check which one of those paths on the I, bottom you need you this, need the bottom most one yes i know but i have to get there Yes, so you'll have to watch that oh, that bottom path as it scrolls by you. So mm. jump on the conveyor that was below that's that points left. Yep. That's and just as you go there, watch, and you got to follow that and see if you can figure out where to go. But we were talking about Minecraft and how it's probably probably one of the most, if not the most, influential games, pretty much ever. Yeah, I, I basically said that I think it probably had as big or approximately as big of an impact on the gaming world as Super Mario 64 insofar as it um, effectively created a genre of game that didn't really exist, mm -hmm. i.e. the survival crafter. And it was completely uh, ubiquitous like everyone knew basically at this point even everyone knows at least what minecraft is right yeah you can like, ask most people and they know what it is if, if somebody if they if they have ever played a video game they, they probably know what minecraft is or if they have children um <laughs> or if you have never had played but you have kids yeah and it and also it's like an entirely a net positive like there there is very little objectionable content in minecraft like uh, yeah it is the same level of like barely violence that you know mario games have um okay yes there are weapons there are swords but like Man. again these these are like a little yeah, blocky very games. like low level yeah I, effectively very very difficult to actually object to in any meaningful way um and like yeah, it 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 spawned like a whole generation of kids who were interested oof, in gaming explicitly because of this game mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's crazy. I mean, it's it's such a cool game where it, and one of the first really to just go build stuff. Do whatever you want. There's a little yeah. bit of game here, but the most part is just build stuff. Yeah. And it was just... just... It was also... It, it was also effectively the first major early access uh, success Dungeons story? Well. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it, it, it was... It a... was one of the first games to come out early where... It, it is the first game I can think of where it was widely available before it was finished and yeah it was alpha where... and then it was beta and then it was out and they still keep updating yes. it that, and that lasted a long time and of course yeah and it is still huge obviously bought by Microsoft um, so like yeah it, it is absolutely wild Minecraft is such a success story and it's very good Dungeons is and also, also fun. the game like has Dungeons. outlived the game outlived its not outlived but like outlived its involvement with its original creator right successfully yeah which is absolutely insane not a lot of like regularly maintained maintained games can say that they are still incredibly popular After the i guess no game down, right? no game has no game has a has like a popularity curve like minecraft does where it has probably gone down over the last several years, but like probably not even that much, if at all. I mean, 
Well, the interesting thing is the kids who play Minecraft also probably play Fortnite, and there's a lot of in between there. You know, there's a there's, there's a lot. I mean, of, I'm sure there's a lot of overlap. Same. There's a lot of overlap and stuff. But I bet you the kids will go on and play Fortnite with their friends, or just go play Fortnite, and then after they're done playing Fortnite, they'll just go immediately play Minecraft. Yeah, I, mean, I'm, I, I, I know. I had I know I had some cousins and, and family members that played Minecraft from a very young age, hmm. where they were effectively where they were babies or near it when the game came out. Um, but. Yeah, Minecraft. It, it's it's incredible. It's it's fun to all ages. Again, oh, this, this kids love it. But I would absolutely, again, it's if all my friends adults. wanted to play Minecraft tomorrow, I would like I could do it, and I, it would be a great time. It is. It's it is a fun. It is a fun game. And as I said, like, and if you get bored of the original game, there is a gigantic modding community where you can do other shit so yeah i mean it just keeps going and it's it, it's blossomed into this like monster dude this gold slime has a terrible experience curve he does he also has very low hp so i'm hoping his defenses are high if you get defense like seeds or whatever definitely pump at this point i would say pump every stat oh you yeah can into uh his defenses are pretty fucking high <laughs> that's oh, a level God, they 20 are. not as high as centasar but yeah, like... No, no, no. That's 23. That's level yeah. 6. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that... I will say that WLD stat, that is like the... I think that's the wild stat, I think, and mm -hmm. it has to do with, like, how well or poorly the monster will listen to you. And it can, it can fluctuate through a bunch of things. So I think because you just hatched the gold slime, he has none, and the other ones have gained it from various effects that have happened in battle. But anyways. Oh, um, so. Other than that. I'm going um, to go make myself another beverage. Oh, I'll fuck. I'll keep the headset on. Mimic. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my God. I've been waiting for this. Okay, I'll stay. I've been waiting for the first Mimic. In the actual, uh, in actual Dragon Quest, they can cast uh, Whack or Thwack and just straight out kill you. They can do that in this game. Yeah. They, will they, just... they can cast Death. Yeah, Thwack. They don't call it Thwack in this, but yeah. they call it something else. Uh, it's called, I think it's called like Death and Deathmore or something like that. Okay, makes sense. Um, yeah. But yeah. absolutely mimics, they can absolutely one shot you. I wanna... said you can also breed and catch them. So like, I um, wish I knew if... like more about the lore of Dragon Quest. So like when, because like you have Final Fantasy and it has, it has a very interesting naming system because it has like Fire, Fyra, Faraga, and then some games have like Faraja. Or you have Thunder, Thundera, oh, yeah. Thundaga, Thundaja. Man, Brave, <sighs> Bravely did Fire. I'll use it with Fire. They did Fire, Fyra, Fyraga. Yep. And then I there is a Fyraja with a J. Yep. yep. But I think that that was like a super late, like hard to get, like. You, you do not normally stumble upon that one or yeah. something like that. And let me um <laughs> for Dragon Quest, there's Frizz. Frizz is single target fire attack. Sure. Then there's Frizzle, <laughs> which is a stronger single target fire attack. <laughs> and then there's Kafriz, which is the strongest fire attack. So then, for like for the for so for Blizzard, there's crack, crackle, and k crack. I'm trying to think what I feel like. I feel like I may be a missing one from the Bravely and the other Final Fantasy, but no, I can't remember for sure. Like, it's just interesting to see like those games when they do that kind of stuff. Like, who thought of this naming convention? Why don't you go like, you know, you go like spark to fire to explosion or something, you know? And it's like, yeah. Like, for there, you can you can see, like, well, your brain I goes, wonder, okay, uh, those are, like, a, 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 a ladder of stronger things, or a stepping stone I of wonder stronger if things. It was be I wonder if it's because it, it comes from Japanese, where they append syllables and stuff in regular language to modify words. Yeah, that might be really Which, I mean, I guess we have prefixes and suffixes, too, don't get me wrong. That might be in that, English. That might be what it is. That's actually a good point. But I could I, I could imagine it's that, and then the people that 
for localizing the game, may, number one, maybe that's actually what the words sound like. I know that Japanese has a lot of, like, English words baked in, but maybe it's just because they, like, they wanted to construct it in the same way or something like that. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things with it. So I've always wanted to, like, learn where those things came from or who made them because, goddamn, they're awesome. I... I tried to learn the origins of S rank the other day. Oh, for uh, why it goes why, like, why it goes C B A S. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. And it turns out, as best I can tell, there seems to the origin story seems to be that in like right around the turn of the twentieth century, so eighteen to eighteen nineties to nineteen hundreds, right around that time. They started, uh, Japan started occasionally using the word special. It was like introduced into their lexicon as like, I mean, what the word special means, like sort of like fancy or elite or something like that. This is the special blah. Mm -hmm. And at some point that was abbreviated to S for things. Oh, you beat a trainer. Yeah. Did he have anything good? No. Oh. Um. And so they started abbreviating, abbreviating special to S, and then also I guess the the Japanese word for like superior or superb or something like that. Um. Also starts with an S sound or with the same character or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it just sort of happened where. It transitioned from this, but it, it was like the best example people had is it is the same way that when we grade things in the US, we go A, B, C, D, F. We don't have an E. That's true. F is for because F is for fail. And like we at least know where that comes from. But that's just how we do it. Like the fact that there isn't an E is just how it is. And, and that's basically the state of S rank in Japan is at this point it is just how it is. Oh. The Tungel just got up. And you also got, uh, like, Ice Storm, which is really, really good. It's a really powerful spell. I've always wondered that. And what's fun about it is also, like, uh, if you play a Dragon Ball Z game, they do... They do C, B, A, S, and then Z. <laughs> That's cool. Because of Dragon Ball Z. You'd think they would have been fine with S for Saiyan. But not everybody's a Saiyan. There's some humans. There's even some aliens called Namekians. Well, but just that, like... I'm just saying. Ugh. I'm eating a snack. Hmm. Eating on stream. What a bad streamer. Mm-hmm. I'm not snacking. I'm trying to control my food and eat more vegetables. It's, we have been better it's terrible. about integrating vegetables. We're we actually, vegetables now. last night, and then we had the leftovers tonight, um, my husband makes a good, um, fun thing. It's not a healthy dish, not not really, but a <laughs> dish that he likes to make is... Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be healthy, it just means um, portion control is a thing. Well, but we call it, like, taco casserole, where mm. it's just basically... You make taco meat, mm -hmm. and then you stir that into mac and cheese, and then you put it in a pan, and you layer on the crescent roll. Like you get a tube of crescent rolls, and you unroll it, and you just put it on top, and so you, and then you bake it. So you get taco mac with a crispy dough on top. Okay, that's weird. It's very very good. Would recommend, but. My husband went shopping the other day, and he bought, uh, he was at Target, and he saw that they had, um, you could buy packs of the Impossible Meat. Oh, we've yeah. We've had Beyond, we've had Beyond before, and it was not that great. But we bought some, like, Impossible Ground Beef, and we made the Taco Mac with that, or the Taco Casserole, and it was actually very, very good. It was a little weird and different. We were also using like a totally different brand of taco seasoning, so it was a little not a good control test or whatever. But yeah. 
Um, but it was really, tried, really good. At least you're trying to possible me. Mm -hmm. It was. It was a very. We've tried other things before, and it wasn't nearly as good. So I think the combination of impossible being a little bit better, and then this specific application where you're kind of drowning it and seasoning and other flavors, anyways. Um, excellent. Really, really good. Um, yeah, yeah, and we're trying to get better about anytime we make a dish like pasta or any kind of casserole type thing or anything served with like fried rice or whatever or rice. We just had fried we just made fried rice yesterday. We just try to keep around some veggies and I'll be like, Oh, you're making pasta tonight? Throw in the pack of mushrooms that we have. Oh, yeah. we're having tacos tonight. Let's cut up that onion and then throw in whatever. And we keep stuff like uh um green onions we try to keep those around for because we eat a lot of ramen which isn't the best for us but we'll always try to keep a couple like a bundle of green onions around so i can actually cut those haven't up been eating ramen. I've, all, I've, I've cut out i haven't eaten ramen in a while um i don't eat pizza rolls as nearly as much as i used to because that would be like especially because we're home they're so easy to just pop it the oven and keep working and then just pull them mm -hmm. out and just keep working and they're just they're fine for that which is great <laughs> but now i'm like eh, i can't be doing that because they're a lot of fat <laughs> There are a lot of the fat. thing my husband found the other day when he was at Target as well because we usually shop at IV, not Target. Mm -hmm. Um, they have hockey pizza roll things. What? They're Totino's brand. I don't like where, but this they're is like, going. but they're like this big, okay. and they just have cheese or a cheese sauce inside. Okay. And then they're coated in the taco, the taki, like bright red seasoning, and that's that's the whole thing. That's weird. So they're like they're, spicy they have, or pizza roll. They're that they're that like that classic like spicy sour that takis are. Like spicy cheese, spicy sour cheese, like spicy lime cheese pizza roll things. Like what the fuck? Yep. And they're also they're they're like half the size of normal pizza rolls. That's weird. I don't like that. It it was okay. Like I ate one, and I was like, "That was good." But like, I can eat a plate of pizza rolls. I, oh, I could not I eat could... a plate of these taki things. Bro, my I husband could fucking did. he did, but I could not. I could destroy a bag of pizza rolls by myself, and a bag is seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna feel good afterward, but I'm gonna fucking go through that bag. <laughs> now I've been For more sure. like, if I am gonna have pizza rolls, I count them out. I'm like, okay, I'm only gonna have like ten. And, like, cut up some cucumber or something. I'm not going to fucking throw a bunch in the bag and go, yeah, there's 25 there. I'm just going to eat that because it filled up the pan. I'm not in high school anymore. Fat. When we have things, we have things like taquitos around a lot. Taquitos are my guilty pleasure frozen lunch. Taquitos are good. Just throw them in and go. Taquitos um, are They're crunchy, filled with meat. They're tasty. Yeah. I, for those, I definitely, I always count those out, like, I sh probably you could have afford. To, right? I could probably afford to eat less of them, but yeah, like I'm like I make six of these. I don't make more. I make six or whatever the number is. It's right? better than what you probably could do if you really wanted to go crazy. I them. could eat the entire box. Like, <laughs> exactly like, not right. Not be a challenge. <laughs> these are good and goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. That's fucking great. I'm gonna get this fucking. Numoff seems so niche. Like, uh, Cure's Paralysis or Wakes Them Up. It's actually not bad. I mean, it's not bad, but also, like. I actually just yeah. think I'm going to get rid of Rob Magic because I don't see, What's like, how that's chaos? useful. Uh, Cure's Confusion. That's just one status ailment. Trade in that you're going to have two of your skill slots dedicated to curing three status I, ailments. I think I have all status ailments covered right now. Okay, okay. All the curable ones. That oh, is. is that a Sky Dragon? Oh, yeah, it's the Sky Dragon one. Yep. We bred off our other one, right? Yeah, we bred off Sky Dragon. Oh, have fun with this puzzle. I fucking hate this puzzle. It's not fun. All right, he's going to move as soon as I go here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I have never actually understood this puzzle i just fuck with it until i get it that's kind of what i'm doing whoops i fell off 
That's fine, it resets it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you fucking tool bag. I know that this solving this puzzle requires like <clears throat> some backtracking. Or you I think you have to like go back can you walk along the very bottom? Yeah, I can. Like I, can I think that is how you have to solve the puzzle. I think part of it involves God, all right, this is the this is the part of the podcast where we fucking do this puzzle for fifteen minutes till we realize that we can't solve it and then I hope you I hope you like the towers of Hanoi. Because that is, that definitely makes an appearance in Mass Effect. Do you know what the Towers of Hanoi are? I mean, not by name, but maybe by like what it actually is. It's the puzzle where it's like, here are three pegs, and all of these discs of different sizes are stacked on one of them. You must move them to a different peg. In a certain amount of moves? Or, like in a certain amount of moves, or just with the rule where it's just like only smaller ones can go on bigger ones. Oh yep, bigger. yep, yep. I've seen so those before. Where it's like da da da, and it's like the same systematic thing you just do over and over again. It shows up not even just as a different puzzle. It just straight up is the Towers of Hanoi, sh and they show up in Mass Effect. So it's just like you have to move, you have to copy the memory from this drive to the other drive, and you have to do the fucking Towers of Hanoi to do it. Um, I recently... Oh, I got it. Um, I, uh, found a puzzle that I th uh, actually made me think about you, because I thought you would actually really like it as, like, as, like, a little gift, and what it, it's, it's called the Houdini puzzle. I don't know if you've ever heard okay. of it before, but it's, it's about yay big and uh, it's a piece of wood uh, it's wood wood steel ball in the center and there's a piece of wood that comes down and it's supposed to represent Houdini basically um, and then it sits on a little base and you're supposed to get Houdini out of the contraption it's like when he was in the water or whatever, you're supposed to get him out of the contraption and right. I thought you would really like it because it's cool on how it's solved I feel like I ha I googled it after you described it. I feel like I've seen something like this before. It's very neat. Um, I have a puzzle. I so uh, when we were on our honeymoon in Germany, I bought a puzzle that I would love to attempt to solve someday. It it came obviously solved, and then so what it is is imagine a puzzle where all of your pieces are wooden and they don't have interlocking jigsaw they're just like uh, effectively polygons right where they just like they it doesn't kind have of, the classic they, jigsaw interlocking they whatever. fit but they don't lock yeah they're all like square edges right every right. every corner is 90 degrees like right like the pieces are all 90 degree shapes okay Whoops, but I'm the trick of it is the puzzle is so now imagine a tic-tac-toe board yep where each of your nine squares is a mini puzzle which is a square and each of those squares is made up of these blocky puzzle pieces but they're all different Meaning that to put the puzzle together, you have to sort of separately solve these nine different puzzles. And then put them all... Now, okay, when you solve one puzzle, is it also just in a shape where it then fits into one part of the puzzle? Or do they no, they're, pretty they are easily go together? Separate, they are nine separate isolated squares. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But they are all cut up into these shapes differently. Oh, well, that sounds terrible. It is. I tried one day for a for a little while while I was doing something to try and solve it, and I uh, did not. Also, your centaur is gonna die. So, oh wait, no, your your gold sign just healed. Your stuff healed everything for you. That's nice. Yeah, man, we're good. Um, oh, gold is immune to fire magic. Yeah, so is great drag. Oh, 
I bet gold's also immune to ice. Anyways, yeah, that puzzle, I, I, I do not know if I will ever be able to actually solve. But like, dude. I just don't know. I would love to, but it's going to take a long time. Probably. I have another puzzle that I've never been able to solve, but I think I might actually be able to program a way to do it. Which I might try to do sometime soon. I recently had that thought being like, oh man, I really want to solve this puzzle, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to get it. But I realized that I could probably write a program that just systematically like goes through it all. Because what the puzzle is, I think I've shown it to you before, is it's a six by six grid with these colored pegs and the pegs are different lengths, so they can't all go on any given space. There are six different colors and six, six different peg lengths and every color has one of each length. And the solution to the puzzle- Oh, this was at your house. Bear. Yes, and, oh. one of, and the solution to the puzzle is all of the pegs fit into their respective places on the board but also every row and column has one of each color. It's like a super Sudoku, but with colors. It's kind of, of like a Sudoku, yeah. And But with like these other restrictions. And so... Which, little known fact, I'm is, Satan, and I hate Sudokus. Why? I, I don't really know. Feel like, I feel like I could write a program in, yeah, like, you could. with you coding. Could. Hmm? And it would just be... It would not be clever. It would just systematically go, and it would just... It would attempt to place pieces until it couldn't, and then it would back up a step and then just continue, like, sort of recursively do that, where you're constantly trying pieces, and every time you fail, you just back up one step. What a fun passion project that would be. Or whatever. <laughs> I, can't, I feel like it wouldn't take that long, but it, it shouldn't be that bad, but I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know anything about it. 2,600 experience and my gold slime didn't level up once what oh my lord well i know that things have different experience curves and i do think they have max levels i do think that some monsters have max levels but oh i had a hiccup oh i hurt <gasps> so now i think it is time to go do either the next tournament or if we still have a gate we haven't done we should go do that gate that was the last gate is there one that's still spinning? It's not the last gate, for the record. There are three more rooms of gates. Yep, I know. And then also some random other gates. <sighs> but yes, we are back on story advancing mode after like a month. Oh my I god, he, Gold Slime has so much MP. <laughs> He's a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, let's just let's just go into a it's... tournament and see what happens. It'll be fine. I don't know which is the last one you did though. Because uh, they'll... they're technically kind of all open for you. Oh, I need to go get my money. I deposited a bunch of my money so that I wouldn't lose it in case we oh, lost. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go get some of my money. What? Yeah, but like, what is the, uh, what tournament are we on? I thought, is, have we only done, are we on just B? Because we did you, C already? I thought you would know. I think so, yeah. It must be. C has a star, and the other one, when you go into the menu, you should be able to page over into the lower level tournaments. See if all of those have stars too. I imagine they do. Whoops, I keep fucking hitting put, and I want to take gold. I do that kind of shit all the time. 4,000 gold. Thanks, dog. Just take 1,000. I think we only need 500, right? I don't know how much we need. I'm taking all of it. We're going to the back. Okay. I don't know, man. Just after you're done with the tournament, just go put it all back. <laughs> Pretty much. It's been a fairly quiet couple of weeks, though, man, which is nice. I mean, in retrospect, we fucking needed it after these past past four year, years. but really past four years. Oh. oh, no! Streamer, man, you're getting political again! I don't care. I don't think that was... 
ever not really an option for us. Yeah, that's very true. Very true. All right, B class. Let's do it. Yeah, I still have nine days for Bravely Default 2. We have 11 days, 12 days? We have 12 days more for than nine uh, days. Bravely no. Default 2 is the 26th. I thought it was the 20th. No. It is, I believe, two weeks from tomorrow, give or take. Time zones and stuff. Tomorrow is Bowser's Fury. You're right, 26. What's the Pretty fucking world. 20th? What's the 20th? I don't think there's anything. I, at least for me, there was nothing on the 20th. Uh, what's on the 20th? What's on the 20th? Because the 23rd... Oh, oh, I'm stupid. The 20th is Strikers. It's nine days for Strikers. Oh, that's what it is. I was like, I think there is something, but it's not for me. It's for you. Strikers. Like, I don't I don't have any plan to play Strikers. Stri Why not? It looks great. I'm, it does. I have other great games that I need to play. It's more I Persona. Give me more Persona. Just put it on a plate. Give it to me. Show it to my face. Hey, I'm playing FF7 hour before you are. Which Dog. Is insane. Look at her. She's so cute. Yeah. This dog is a pain in the ass, let me tell you. She's a great dog, but she's so fucking stupid. Aren't you? Yeah, your brother has the shepherd brain. He's much smarter. I love you, though. You're such a good dog. We've been teaching them rollover. Let me tell you how fucking fun that is. I don't think... Maybe Orion might be able to roll over. But he also is very treat-motivated and doesn't... He well, only really listens. If they're, if they're treat-motivated, that's well, good. Well, you can treat... You can teach well, no. Yes, but then if there's not a treat, he's like, I know there's not a treat in your hand. Yeah, I Zeph, know you don't have one. Zeph I don't will, care. Zeph will get into those moods where he's like that, where he's like, sometimes he'll be like, I'm ready to listen, I'm ready to go. Dad, what do you got for me? And then other yeah. days he's like, you don't got a treat, dude. I don't give a fuck what you say right now. Yeah. Yeah. Orion, by and large, he's the kind of dog where, like, he'll listen sometimes you have to be stern and say it a few times or sort of move towards him or whatever. But like he understands what you're getting at pretty clearly. And he's, and he's pretty smart in that respect, but he's not the kind of dog who will like always come when called. Whereas mm. our other dog, Batani, she basically will always come when called. Yeah. Like, for almost the, always. For the most part is that for will. Um, Unless he wants to play, and then he'll stand right at the door and look at me and like, "Oh, it's time to play." I don't know. I don't know why I'm coming inside. It's time to play, Dad. Yeah. Know, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I know you're calling me, but fuck you. Kiara, get your butt out of the stream. Stop looking the bed. Thank you. Good dog. Look at her. She's so sweet. We got dog stream. Dog cam. Maybe in the new. Yeah, in the new house. I might be able to have, have to, dog cam as well. I'll have to let her Because I think I will also have a bed behind me. Dog cam! She wanted out. She falls asleep on this bed a lot behind me while I'm playing games. And then she, sometimes she'll just all of a sudden get up. And I forget that she's fucking here. Like, I'll get out to use the restroom and she's like, you're, you're leaving? What's going on? Yeah. Where are you going? And it scares me. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you in here. I am very glad. We, so we, we have a couch right now. That is a sectional, but we only have the three-seater section of it. The downstairs but couch. we are, yes, but we have purchased, and they will eventually be delivered. It'll be a couple months, I think. Where oh, was it on, like, back order? Section. Oh, uh, if you haven't been furniture shopping, everything's on back order for furniture. Oh, I did not know that. Everything. Like, yeah, we... We were ordering things a month in advance, and only like two of the things were in stock that day. Almost everything it needed at least a couple weeks, and several things we bought needed a few months. And they said, depending on what it is, um, did you end up buying that? Island there were thing, a couple things we looked at. Yeah, we bought it from the current owners. Yep. Cool. Um, but yeah, there were some things. There was one thing we looked at where we would have had to wait. Gosh, we would have had to wait. Um, like six months to get that it was like a kitchen table we were looking at um and it was like six months back ordered 
That's six it was, months. it's, yeah. Six months. Here's the tired guy from the restaurant. Fuck, six um, is crazy. Yeah, the, everything is out of stock. That's nuts. And we've already had one thing we ordered is still technically TBD. Hey, look, it's a little Our, crab We guys. ordered a coffee. We ordered a coffee table that, like, we have no idea when it will show up. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, they told us some dates, but, like, it's technically listed as TBD right now. I haven't checked in a few days, but I hope that Gold Slime... Okay, somebody, let's say somebody better cast heal. Oh, Gold Slime's almost dead, though, still. Yeah, I wish that, um... Yeah, here, I'm gonna do something. You need to make Scent charge. Yeah. And Great Drac should probably also charge. And just keep gold on healing duty. No, Great Drac is the one that's doing most of the healing at the moment. Well, fair. There we go. Much better. Um. Now we're just going to fight. God. Yeah, I didn't know that um, furniture was that far back ordered. That's yeah. kind of fucking crazy. Just about everything is, which is obviously frustrating. Um, A little bit, yeah. But, yeah. But it's all coming soon enough. We have a bunch of things coming next week on moving day. And then there's something coming about a month from now. And there's something that is hopefully coming two months from now. Um, cool, man. It's close. Yep. It's exciting. What is, uh, what is Jaden going to do as he started looking around? Um, current plan is uh, wrap up his like formal process of getting his master's degree in the next couple of months and then likely continuing to work at the lab he's currently work working at um, but not as a grad student anymore to oh, help finish like up. There's like a paper that he's working on but the paper won't be done by the time he graduates. So continuing to work for a little while, wrapping that project up until he basically, until he finds a job. Bas his his PI, his, le his like, um, w advisor person basically is like, you can continue to work for me and get paid because things suck right now and you can help finish this research until you get, uh, you know, a postgraduate job somewhere. So will you have to travel to Lawrence sometimes? Occasionally, but he can do a lot from home. Deposit all your money before you go into a gate. That's a good point. You have 3,000 gold. You don't want to lose that. That's a good point. That's crazy. Um, <sighs> but yeah, so it basically means that he will not have to just graduate oh, and then be unemployed for a while. That is helpful. And there are places around that do that would that would hire someone of his qualifications. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, where you're moving to? You should have crazy amount of stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's such a what a I mean, it's a great city just because it has so much available to it. And I mean, the center of the United States is great because it's like we have everything. Lots of headquarters are here because we're centrally located. Like it's it's. There, there's a lot of good opportunities. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. We'll we see love how the long travelers. It, 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 we'll just have to see how long it takes to get them. Like, it, it'll take a little while, but it won't be bad. I mean, nothing so. just, especially with the way the economy is right now and the way shit is going. But I've heard, like, blue-collar jobs and stuff like that. Or, no, not blue-collar. That's White-collar? White-collar job. Either I way. think, didn't you still have one more gate up top that you hadn't done? No. Did we just do that one? Oh, that was the Sky Dragon Gate, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I think, I think that right. some some of these jobs are more in demand right now because I know like some places are some places are are laying off because they don't have a lot of work, but some places are hiring because they still have work and you know it's just can't get enough people in. Oh, we have a couple other random gates we could try to get at some point soon. We're all right for now. We chilling. We chilling. Well, just, there's the, I meant the like uh the like non-story the little side quest gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
there's I see two that we could get to. Well, I guess one of those there is one which is actually the metal man one, which we need a shit ton more tiny metals. Wait, wait, wait. Um but yeah, no, it it should be fine. Like hope things are going well. We just gotta you know just gotta get through the next few months, but it shouldn't be bad. And yeah. I'm still working from home probably at least through the summer. Yeah, we're probably gonna work from home until everybody has vaccines. Yeah. Which so I'm assuming August, September is when we're gonna go back to the office and even then we're gonna go to like probably a hybrid thing where we are half in, half out. I mean I wanna do that just because this is so much nicer. Um I mean Yeah, I, I would I, I would love to be able to like permanently work three days in the office, two days at home. Like, have three days of solid collaboration in the team at the office, and then two days of me focusing at home without as many distractions. My work is thinking about switching that. Two days in office, three days at home. Uh, either would be fine, and it would depend on the team. And at some point, I'll be doing later this year probably a lot of field work where we're installing a bunch of stuff for a client. And so I'll probably be on a job site many, many days of the week. But that's a ways away. We haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff going on just because we're actually funding our transportation programs and we're trying to keep it funded. We'll see how that goes because we've had some legislation be shot down to try and get income, but I don't know. We're oh, trying they're not yeah. trying to touch they're they're as much as possible they're not trying to touch uh, transportation because I know it creates jobs and which is of course good for the economy overall. Um, so but I have a so I have a lot to do. <laughs> I've had a lot to you do. You should, by the way. Sorry. Hey, look, it's a little do not, guy. do not stall in this. Uh, do, yeah, like you do not need to grind right now. These dungeons are officially into the long and obnoxious category. Yeah, so there's like, 14 of these. Yeah, like just, just get, like yeah, always just be focused on getting to the other end. Um, yeah, no, like it's things are weird right now. Some yeah. places are hiring occasionally. Um, so, like, just have to see how it goes. Um, this dungeon is gonna suck. It is all status ailments, I bet, the whole thing. Yeah, monster. it seems that way. I mean, technically, we can stop this game whenever we really want to. What is the... Oh, right. I just wish my fucking, like, gold slime would attack more often, but it is what it is. Oh, this this gate has the... This is one I struggled with as a kid. Mm -hmm. This gate has a boss who is not recruitable, but will have a line of dialogue saying he really wants sirloins. And so I thought he was recruitable if you gave him a ton of sirloins. And then he just fucks off. And then he just doesn't. And But you can fight him over and over again. Like, you can come back and fight him and fight him and fight him. But he will never join your team. And so I came back to this dungeon over and over. And I would come with, like, I would farm up, like, ten sirloins. And I would come back and give them all to him. And then he wouldn't join. It was just As a kid, I'd be, I'd be pissed. <laughs> I was very <laughs> mad. Fucker. <laughs> join my team. Yeah. Um, Let's take the time to ask how chat's doing. How's How is everybody's week? I know mine was very busy um, until today where I'm trying to find some information by uploading a bunch of fucking old emails and it was four hours later and it's still not done. I don't even know if it's still done. I, I left it running. I don't even know if it's done. I'm going to come tomorrow and it's not going to be done. I'm going to lose all that work. So. Yeah. My week has been... I had a lot of meetings this week and I have a lot... I have another meeting tomorrow morning my boss a... is taking so wh what the trainer um what what i do is bridge evaluation oh hey rogue knight um you don't need to catch any of these things should be no big deal um and so and my boss is like the head evaluation engineer and there is also a bridge management engineer 
It used to be upon a time that those two jobs were combined. The management and evaluation engineer were just one bridge evaluation engineer. And so they're trying to get back to that by giving my boss a promotion, giving her more money, but also giving her tons of more responsibilities. So she's very busy now. Um, and so it's like, I have these things that kind of need her attention. Cause I'm like, I'm trying to find this. I'm trying to find this. I've done this. I've done this. I've done this. Like, but I'm doing these other things. Do you need anything while I'm doing these things? And she's just been in a call like every time for like all this week, just always in a call. I'm like, Seed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Fuck we have this. the project I'm trying to get myself uh, dissociated with is still in my life. Oh, that is actually a really solid. Yeah, I would say it's never going to go away, Joe. It's never going to go away. It's never going to go away. It's but always thankfully I'm now working with. You. I am now working with people who are far more receptive, and I've also kind of ran out of fucks to give. So when when things start to get really frustrating or annoying, or like the clients being bullshitty, I'll be like, for the record, this is why I'm trying to get myself <laughs> off of this project. Out of this shit. Because of this, like. This is the thing. And so and I'm trying to be very clear about that and be like this. I understand that it is frustrating and I am trying to be helpful. But to be clear, if you enable this behavior, this is the problem. So you need to you need to not enable the client to behave like this. This shit in a bud. Yeah. Yeah, you would think. But people suck. So it is what it is, you know? This is very true. Not much we can do about it, yeah. I don't know. It's been a it's been a time. It's been a day. I had to spend next week thankfully should be fairly easy because I've got a day off to move. Nice. And while I may have to be on a job site for that said project for a couple days, those days do tend to go by very fast, especially on site J in the pandemic the era where I'm used to just being at my desk at home six days a week or whatever you know like those Absolutely. days do break up the monotony as much as i like don't want to be on site for these things i uh, remember when i went on a bridge inspection for just a real small bridge it was a little timber bridge and a field entrance that we technically own because it's on our right away and it was in it was like two and a half hours away and i fucking loved it because the day went by so fast because yeah. we were just i mean and that was like in september i think it was and i was like this is glorious yeah and it this time i won't be by myself i may well have like three or four other people there working with me damn and so let's go it, i'm like it yeah if Slime night. Uh, like on one hand again really don't want to have to do it on the other hand it it's gonna make the day go by so fast <laughs> i'm yeah. so ready for that those are nice and just seeing other people is pretty nice yeah when i when i get yep. When I get into my hazmat suit for Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals, man, it's like the best day because I actually get to see other people. I mean, I might be like in a fucking mask and face mask and all this shit. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I actually get to see people. I mean, I effectively have not seen New Year's probably any co-workers. Oh, co-workers, co-workers. It's, it's approaching a year at this point. I haven't seen co-workers I start, since... I started working from home in mid to late march i haven't seen co-workers since the inspection when i went on an inspection yeah i'll technically like, see co-workers next week when i do this judging thing but it's not for work it's for this judging well thing. i mean for any we don't even do cameras on in our freaking meetings so like oh okay I okay i have seen people do I cameras and stuff yeah, yeah 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 i have literally not seen any of my co-workers in the flesh oh Right, this can happen. You just random trainer battle in a Coliseum setting. Have fun. I think you can use items and stuff, though. I don't remember this at all. It's just a rare spawn, like the healing stops and the shops and stuff. But yeah, no. Um. Yeah, I haven't seen. We we obviously didn't have any sort of holiday party. We have not had any, yeah. like, we haven't had anything like that. So we'll just have to see, like, 
It'll be interesting. There's more matches? What the fuck is this about? Oh, is it full three matches? It might be three. So. I think you get some items for winning, though. I better get something. But if you can use meat, that Mudron would be a good catch. Oh, really? I think he's used in some weird recipe. He died, never mind. Okay. Not a huge deal. He's one of those ones where, like, if you see it, though, he's used... He's used in a few particular recipes, and it would be very good to nab one if you can. Third and final match. Let's... That said, I do not know where we're going to find Oh, it's a mole! We haven't seen a mole yet. Nope. Mad gopher. Love him. I don't think you need any of these guys. The candle, I guess, maybe would would be useful. I don't know. The material class is so weird. Mad candle. Is that what it's called? Mad candle? Yep. Oh and no, never mind. Mad Candle is mad not useful at all. Gopher. Yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah, by that and large, the material class in this game is not actually good at all. That's a shame. In uh, Dragon Quest Tactics, the inorganic, is inorganic class, which is considered the I suppose class. Gold Golem was probably good. Probably. But that's literally the best material monster. Probably so. Oh shit! Ah, fuck a little do. Yeah. Yep, I agree. <laughs> yeah, man, it's just been it's just been like that. And sometimes you have slow weeks, and sometimes I mean, like it hasn't been. Sometimes much. you have slow years. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh shit! Next Saturday is the twentieth. That's right. So that's the day of the competition. Mm -hmm. Which also means that's the day Strikers comes out. That's what the twentieth is. Is twentieth? It doesn't also... come out on Friday. You know what? The twentieth might be when it released in Japan. Mmm. The twentieth came out on. It comes out the twenty third. I bet you. Um, but well, I don't know. You'll just have to keep an eye on it. But the twentieth is when I go do the competition stuff. That's why the competition was. Or that's why the. I'll Google was. it. You keep playing. I'll Google no, it. No, 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 no. Persona Five Strikers in a. Twenty third. Yep. It's the twenty third. It's on Tuesday. Uh, I can't oh, okay. wait. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. They say it's a really nice kind of like spiritual successor to Dragon Quest 2. So. Oh, or it came out on so. February 20th. In Japan. 2020. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah. But last year. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't read the date. I just read I saw February. I'm like, fuck yeah. And that's not the case. That game was great. Sonic Adventures 2 Battle. That game was fucking awesome. Sorry. Twitter. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, yeah. Yeah, that game was fucking great. And like the Sonic Adventures, like there's a director's cut one where you like do the surf and stuff. Those games were really fun. And then Sonic Heroes was ass. Fight me. I mean, that that's not a hot take, man. Mimic! Can we catch this fool? Let's try and catch this. Um, again. you can. They're a bit tough to catch, but like, may as well. Um, yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is one of those old jank games that's fun anyways. Exactly. Oops, I should have thrown something at it. Oops. Oops. Oh, weird. I think we um, just talking this. Oh. Really? Got gold finally reached level 10. Holy crap. The high temperature tomorrow is seven. Yeah, man, it's it's gonna be really cold tomorrow. Oh. The weekend is the weekend supposed to be very cold. Huh? So what does it matter? You're not gonna go outside. We gotta, yeah, we'll, we'll be outside a little bit. Sorry, Motherfucker, I gotta walk the dogs every night. I mean, we're gonna be at the house tomorrow afternoon. I gotta go to the dentist tomorrow as well. Why do you gotta wait? But. I mean, going to the house doesn't really mean you're going outside that much. You're going to be it's outside for like a hot second. I mean, there's there's a drive or whatever. Like, there's In the heated car? <laughs> well, I'm just saying that like... <laughs> yeah. There's a drive in the heated 
car. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I don't know what to get rid of. This move is actually coming in clutch right now. I think I'm gonna get rid of fire air just because I think scent has it. Why are you? Yeah, you don't need fire air. Isn't also that good. We got poison gas from our um. Gold. Being able to poison stuff, it's probably gonna be a good idea. Yeah, this thing has a huge experience curve though. Like, it is nutty. The experience curves on this bitch. We might actually start wrapping up here pretty soon. Might not make it to the end of this dungeon. We could play some more Zelda randomizer and watch no, ourselves we should, get our ass kicked. We should see if we could get if we can get to the end of this. We're only halfway in. Really? Really? Yeah, we're a little over half. Uh. uh fuck. See. We could get lucky. It, like all it takes is like one or two of the like shop slash healing rooms apparently or it takes enough for us staff. to fucking just constantly get fucking danced on right now yeah we're just dancing at the moment yep all of our guys are just dancing and receiving damage i we're, didn't know we were playing fortnite we're getting dance locked right now yeah heated car is the correct i agree yeah it's. I mean, it'll still be cold. We though. walk the dogs every night, and it's been fucking miserable. Yeah. So much that we've had to cut walks short because they get too cold. But then my fluffy one, he wants to go outside and play because he's like, I have two coats. This doesn't matter to me. What are you talking about? Fuck this. And he wants to play, and so I have to go out there like a puffy marshmallow and go play with him. Because the big one's like, I'm not doing this, champ. <laughs> Our dogs just are lazy this season. This is the time of year they just don't do much. They just kind of lay around and sleep a lot. Oh, I thought that was to all allies at once, but maybe that's like... Nope. Heal more is just like a extra. Heal all is... No, that's still Heal not... Heal all is it. all HP. It gives it a max yeah. HP, but it's only like... There is a heal everyone spell, but I don't know what it's called multi-heal maybe right. it's probably like it's probably just like wide heal or something i don't know yeah because multi-heal multi-heal oh. is technically like the right is like the the, the dragon quest now is like actual name that's what they it. call it yeah multi-heal yeah there's 19 of these we're on nine oof yeah i just i i, I believe anything called love Let's see if we can at least get to a place where we can do an in-game save, like a shop or a or a healing thing. Fuck, dude. Oh my god. Do we have a... Uh, we don't have any more warp staffs, do we? No. Well, Ugh. maybe we do. And we want to keep those for in case we get fucked, like that one area. I mean, true. I do... What the shit? What the shit what? The high on Monday is one. Really? Yeah, with a low of negative nine, and that is not wind chill. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I've heard that this. I don't know if it's been that. I don't know if it's been that cold in years. Here, snow. Without wind Maybe chill, we were, I feel like when without we were in wind college, chill. Yeah, I don't think so. College when we had that like ten foot of snow or whatever the fuck it was, it still didn't get that cold. I do remember in college we had, I feel like there was a week that was very, very, very cold. It was cold. It was, it was in the teens, but I don't think it was single it digits. It doesn't show. The 10 day forecast doesn't show a real feel wind chill type situation. Yeah. Uh, apparently there's some Arctic wind coming in. We're supposed to get colder. I don't know if there's more snow you know, on the horizon or not. Um, I see like light snow, flurries, the kind of snow that like doesn't actually matter that much. Yeah. I know I dro when I drove on Sunday it was fucking terrible. Like like f Yeah, even on I see like less than a less than a quarter inch on any of the days that it's snowing, which okay. is to say not Nobody cares. Not yeah. Like flurries. 
I, I, mean, I mean, it'll stick around. It's for once. It's not just gonna melt immediately like it usually does. But still, yeah. surprising with how cold it's been. The, the, the roads are surprisingly clear because with this, it, the snow just, doesn't melt. It just kind of like wears yeah. away because it's yep. There's nowhere for it to. So it just kind of just gets stuck on cars and then just gets traveled with them and then it melts yep, in their garage it and then it's just gone. Yeah, yeah. it's great because I mean for. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the roads were pretty gross. And yeah. then Wednesday, they really got cleared up. And then today, we were out when I dropped the car off. And, like, the roads are fucking great. Yeah. We were, unfortunately, we were going to try to pick up a, uh, a piece of furniture from my dad's. But he didn't want to be on the road with the snow and the cold and stuff. So, I mean, yeah. I don't blame him. Probably the right choice. It will be stupidly cold. And I would rather not do that, you know. Have you taken the dogs with you to the house yet? Would rather not move a bunch of really heavy stuff. Huh? Have you taken the dogs with you to the house yet? Uh, Both of them were there one day, and then Vitani was there another time when she had to get a vet checkup, and so she was at the house for a little bit with Jaden. Oh. Um, but yeah, so they've seen it, and they've played around in the backyard a bit, but we haven't been taking them much because it has been... Working. Well, Well, not even that. Just like every weekend that we've gone... Even if we've been doing stuff, it's also been just like super muddy outside or super cold or what have you. And it's just not worth lugging yeah, them around. It's not like a, like a 45, 50, 60 degree day where they could literally just be outside the whole time while you guys yeah. are working inside. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. Yep. So we just. Yeah, it's fine. They've seen it. They the they've experienced the yard. It's going to be a great time. Um, yeah, that's good. You have we a get hell to play of, fetch with them more. A yard. We do. It's very exciting. Which is good. We bought one of those fetch like the ball where you fling the ball. Chuck it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Chuck it's a great. The brand of ball is great. Look, uh, Zephyr still has his. Um, orange ball that he loves. He doesn't play fetch. He plays retrieve and then hoard and chew. Like Unfortunately, an our dogs aren't great at playing together, so there probably won't be very much of like. Oh. Just our dogs don't like to play. In particular, one of our dogs does not know how to roughhouse or play wrestle or anything like that, and she just gets it very upset and very. She gets very mean very fast with that kind of play, and our other dog would love to do that, but you know so. It'll probably be a lot of them playing separately when we do that kind of thing, but it'll be good. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm lucky on is both of my dogs like to roughhouse and do that kind of stuff, and so they'll go at it. Like, after we take them on our walk, they when it's cold outside right now, they come inside for about five minutes, they warm up with their paws, and then I take them outside, and we run around the backyard, and then they wrestle, and then they run around the backyard, and then they wrestle, and then I go inside because I'm like, fuck this, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will say, I just realized we have a, a pretty nice vacuum that we're just not going to be using really anymore because our new house is basically all hardwood throughout the whole house. Oh, yeah, that is nice. There is literally, there is carpet on the stairs, and there is carpet in this, in like a closet. But basically, we're never going to use that vacuum again it's probably just gonna swiffer everything we have two that we have yeah we have two vacuums. i guess we're we are we are buying a rug for the living room to go under the coffee table and to Absolutely. go under the couch and stuff so we'll vacuum that i guess and the thing with hardwood floors you're also gonna have to keep your dog's nails like well trimmed because they will go all the fucking time and scratch up your floor yeah i'm on one side on one hand the tiny snails get very long, but they never really get sharp. They're always very dull and flat. Mm -hmm. Orion's nails definitely get, definitely get long and jaggy. On the other no, part of that, no, though, is... No, not this again. It's the same as it is every time. I don't remember what it was because it pissed me off to top so right. much. We need to go top right. Oh, you already, you already messed it up. Uh... Is it this way? And then this way? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then top right again. Hey, okay, we're good. Thank God. It's basically top right, top right. Um, But no, the other side of it is, I'm also pretty sure that it's all... Well, there is tile. There's a decent amount of tile. 
That's cool. Um, and then all the hardwoods actually like composite. It's not real wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's so, what like, I'm gonna do in my basement probably. It it should hold up a lot better. That that was n almost 900 gold. Yep, 854. Jeez. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. But no, um, yeah. This weekend, we're taking probably the rest of the stuff off the wall, and we're going to try to hang up more of our wall art. Oh, yeah, you sent me a picture. Uh, of we've hung up a little bit of stuff. The incredible job the previous owners did of painting the door frame. Yeah, I, I described that last stream. I don't get it. Straight up don't know. It's literally like they painted the inside with a fucking roller, and then they just hit the the fucking door frame. I, I just don't understand. Like, it, it like... You couldn't have done it on accident. I know. <laughs> you literally so could not have done it on accident. Also, I don't know how the, the fuck you're gonna. Thing to me. I don't know how you're gonna fix that. Um, nest. Are you sure that's not a generation one nest? Maybe it is. Because like, I, th I don't know. We. The nice thing is we do know somebody who bought a nest and then couldn't use it or something like that, and so they have a spare of that backplate. Yeah, we, we, we talked but about this It also time. doesn't... It doesn't quite look right, so we're going to have them probably bring it to us at some point, but I don't know. Because, like, I really want to know if it's a first generation where it did plug into the back of it. But I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll Google that real fast. Because, like, certain generations didn't start that. Like, the first or the second generation, when I first got my house, didn't have a humidifier control, and now it does have humidifier control in the third generation. So, I don't know, but I, it looked weird. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Looking, yeah, I have no idea. Looking over at my Twitter feed. It's not, I mean, it functions. It's just a little, it's a little janky. So, yeah. just be something that would. The back, I mean, the back plate is super nice good. because, like, what a cool fucking thing to make it super easy to do stuff. Like, how, yeah, how did that not happen sooner? That's so cool. Like, I, I, the only thing I didn't know how to do was my humidifier, and that's because I didn't know which thing to plug in. Um, mm. But. You know, the person who came and inspected our furnace was like, oh, it's this, do, 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 you're done. There you go. And I was like, well, that was fucking easy, damn. And so, like, I have, like, six wires plugged into my nest right now. Yeah. But super, super helpful. We did get our, uh, our Google Fiber set up, so that was fun. Yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade. Once the, uh, stimulus checks come in, because I'm I don't know, well, I, they... I don't think the stuff's even supposed to pass until um, March. March. So right. yeah. once the checks come in. That said, it should be really quick. If, if I recall, the last time that we got they were within the, a couple weeks, six hundred dollars or whatever. It it was like yeah, it was very very fast. Yeah. They, um, I think we're. I, I'm pretty sure most people are going to get like fourteen hundred dollars or whatever per person. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't see them actually fixing it and making Which is, it two thousand. For people who need it, that's fantastic. Anything is better than nothing at this I point. But I also, I also do definitely agree. They said two thousand dollar checks. This isn't two thousand dollar checks. It's not. Like it's not. At the same time. Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Dark eye. Yeah. Um, I personally, like I said, I, I'm lucky enough that we're able to work from home and stuff like that. So I'll be putting the money into the economy rather than um, saving it. Oh yeah, I mean we're spending we're spending all our money these days. I yes. cannot tell you how much I've spent over the last couple of months. Uh my guess is two hundred and some thousand dollars for a house. Well, ignoring the house. Uh a but couple you, yeah. thousand more because you have furniture to get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to it, buddy. Wait till your furnace goes out when it's uh that the day before Christmas, and, you and we go, have a home. We have home, we have warranty insurance. The, we have the home warranty, so we should be fine there. I mean, uh, I believe you mine, picked up an elf water or something. Mine would have been out of home warranty, so it doesn't matter. Yes, well, we we have a year's worth of it. That elf water is, I think, heals MP for your whole party or something. Yes, max MP. I was gonna say, st you have some. Use your MP stuff right before the boss fight. 
Um, yeah, my... I don't expect it to be difficult. We've been in my house for three years now? And my furnace went out the day before... The night Ooh. before Christmas Eve. And... Uh, there was nothing I could do. Even with a home warranty, I don't think there's anything I could have done. Oh, there's another lava man. Yeah, some of these guys are good, but not good enough to, like... I mean, I guess if you have a spare sirloin and you don't care, you could throw it at no, lava they, man. They all died. Okay, never mind. Damn, nice. Sweet, I'm fully healed. Hmm. Yep, I was going to say that's incredibly lucky on the last floor. Yeah, that's pretty freaking nice. Um, All right. Yeah. Get to the end, you're close. Anyway, uh, I was going to use mine for um, putting in the economy, and I think I'm going to get a new modem and upgrade my internet to Giga, Giga Blast, which is Cox's version of Giga, Giga uh, Google Fiber. Oh, this is a different boss than I thought we were fighting. Um, this looks like a mech. This is actually... Hold on. Oh. It's not a mech, though, because the mechs are... You need... Oh, it's a gladiator! Feed... Stop. You need to feed these bosses meat. So, I will say this. Evil armor is the one I mentioned earlier that I, I bred and made uh, my last playthrough. The guy over there on the right? Um, he's yes, cool. he's, he's very cool. cool. The, the middle guy Gladiator. is the one that... If, he's called Servant in this game. If you just catch him, you know that boss monster I told you about? If you just breed that Servant, if you are lucky on the genders, I suppose. If you breed that Servant with your Great Drac, that's one of the boss monsters. But you do have to give meat. So I would throw a Sirloin down. The other two are not recruitable, only the middle guy. So if you have sirloins, I would I would dump them. Yep. I got sirloins. And then if you could target the other monsters, that would be most ideal. I'm assuming that they don't have nearly as much HP as... Ooh. Ooh. The gold guy is, uh, doesn't care about ice magic at all, which is good. Okay. Yeesh. Yeah, you definitely need to get some healing down. Don't, and don't don't feel bad about using items here. Like, I use your really world. I don't have do much or... items to do. Don't you have a world do? Oh, probably. That's the one that heals all HP, right? I think it heals your whole team's HP. Well, there it doesn't matter now. Uh, he's like we're only down to okay. one. Okay. Okay. Throw any other meat you have. I got a like, raid. You want this servant. Cycle spell. I could he I could do probably another rib. Probably. I don't see it. I f he'll probably join you. He's probably as a boss, he's probably coded to like Pork Chop, fuck it. If you give him any meat at all, he'll probably just join you, but just in case. Honestly, you have a beef jerky too. I this guy is one of the ones where like again he would have to be the right gender, which is problematic. Guess we'll find out. But we also, it would not be hard if we needed to, to get another great drac. Like if we needed to breed another one to get the right gender, we could use great drac to breed ourselves another one. I, for the record, I assumed that we were never going to see this servant monster guy. And so I assumed I was just like, oh yeah, we're never going to bother to breed this, this boss thing. And even though that we've had the great drac, I did not realize we could just get one. Yeah. It's, it's funny to see how... Oh, shit. That's not good. I'd say I think something's dead. Yep. Great Track was the one with... Um, it had a significant World amount of HP, too, Leaf. which was kind of nuts. Well, I was going to say, Wor World Leaf is a revive, but Great Track also has a revival spell. Well, it doesn't matter because Great Track's fucking dead. 
Well, I know, but if something else dies, your Great Drac can revive them. Right, yeah, it had like 60-some HP, and I haven't seen it do 60 damage, and then all of a sudden it just did 60 damage to it, and I was like, fuck. Mix. I mean, again... Cautious, cautious, there we go. Now we'll just, we'll just heal ourselves up. There we go. Oh, it... Okay, well, you stopped his spells, that's good. Yeah, we're good, we're Gucci. We're Gucci. Except now we keep fucking healing ourselves instead of attacking, and that's not helping at all. Yeah. Yeah, you're just everybody's just casting spells. Yeah. Fucking terrible. But say so yeah. Have somebody charge. Yeah, I got it. Yo, this thing has a lot of HP. It does. This is kind of nuts. This is actually kind of fucking broken. Die, fool! Die! <laughs> Get out of here. Hold on. There we go. God damn. He better fucking join you. Yeah, he joined. 5,000 experience. Yo. What gender is great, Drac? Uh... He's a male. Servant is a male, yes. I hope Great Drac is female. I don't remember. Again, not the end of the world. But after this, like, go through this thing, get healed, do the cutscene, save, but check Great Drac. If it's female, we need to basically just breed it straight away and get the boss monster, because that would be too cool. But, 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 um, but it has that super heal move, which is really good. I mean, it would retain all that. They, they inherit all of that stuff. The king is always busy, busy, busy. I'm going to be so mad if your great drac is also male. Hey, Joe. <gasps> let's do it let's do it it's, it's a, that servant it's should a already be a girl it's a little like, girly yeah yeah i'm just excited this is cool the boss oh it's, yeah shit 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 who the fuck um, is shooting us what now oh the old uh end is a world mm. shit 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 who the fuck is shooting us but yeah, I would save, but you should be able to do Servant as the pedigree and then Great Drac. What does this get us? Draco Lord 1. That sounds cool. All right, Servant as the pedigree. He does look cool. Servant as pedigree. Uh, should be. He's level 35? Yeah. And I fought it at level 20 something. Check his info. I want to see what like shit he has. He's not that like, strong. Like before we get rid of him, what, what are we going to inherit off this guy? Blaze most, blizzard, and focus. Blaze most? Yeah. Okay, not the best skills in the world, but Great Drac also has plenty of good stuff. That is insane. What the fuck? Okay, yeah. So it should be servant. I would save state again. I would save state the game with the state. emulator because right we're officially going to be in like unknown territory. Seems like a new monster. Did you save state? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. This I better be fucking worth for it. it for getting rid of my great drag and my level 35 gladiator. <laughs> yeah, we could have just like thrown that thing on the team and been happy. Jesus Christ. What a fucking beast. Draco Lord. Draco and take him on the team. I want to see a yeah, baby Draco Lord. I wonder if it's the dragon with a shield and armor. No, it's like a dude in a robe. Oh. With horns and a staff? Oh my god. Okay. It's a it's a uh throw to Dragon Quest 1. The main boss of Dragon Quest 1. And then Draco Lord 2 who is literally just a giant dragon. And we breed Seriously? Is it really? What? It's a, okay, Dragon so... Dragon Lord 2 is... 
big dragon. So, it, uh, spoilers for a very fucking old game, but in the end of Dragon Quest 1, you fight a guy who looks exactly like that. Horns, staff, cloak. And when you beat him, he turns into a giant purple dragon. Yep, that's this. That's, that's hilarious. That's amazing. That All right, that's let's, I want to see what he looks like. Yep, that's like. exactly him. Yep, that is that is the boss of Dragon Quest One, right there. Amazing. Okay, yeah. So to get Draco Lord Two, to get that second form, we just breed that guy with a Divinion. I don't know what that but is. But the thing is, to get Divinion, you need a Sky Dragon. And I think we got rid of our Sky Dragon. Kitty, I already said no spoilers. You haven't even been here the whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, you're probably... We, we bred away our Sky Dragon to get Great Drac, didn't we? Yes. All right. We are not feasibly going to get Draco Lord 2. It is not likely. But... Either way, that's hilarious and awesome. I can't. Believe I think it's it. fucking cool that that's the like that's the the lore behind it is it's the the bosses like that's actually pretty. Cool. I, I would not be surprised if some of these were the other bosses from the other early Dragon Quest games. Like maybe that's what all these are. Oh yeah, it might be. But they're just. I named can send the link. I'll send the link to what I've effectively been looking at, and if you scroll down to the very bottom. The, the last one in the list is the boss class. All right, I'll have to check that out. Um, yeah. Scroll all the way down. Again, I don't, I just don't recognize anything. Oh, yep. Pizarro, that's a, um, that's a guy. Who turns into that guy? Yeah, is it Zoma who turns into that guy? Uh, no, 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 no. Durin. Durin is also the the highest like demon class monster, and he also is like a dude. Um, you scroll up a little bit and you'll see him. There is this Dragon Quest wiki. There's the character. Um. Here, I will link you the picture. Sure. Um, just to show you that it is the the guy. Uh, this is where he comes from. He turns interesting. He turns into this big bitch. Hmm. Um. Well, this was a successful that guy. He turns into that episode. Guy. Oh yeah, no, that's him. Yeah, this is great. No, these are all um Yeah, Hargon. I recognize them by their sprites now. I'm pretty sure Hargon's also the guy in the well. He looks very similar. This is crazy. Yeah, like all of these monsters require these other boss monsters and also like the best of the different like super cool uh monster classes. All right. We are like you need the best plant at some point. This is like yeah. almost a two hour episode and I'm actually behind uploading episodes to YouTube, but that's fine. I'll get them uploaded. Um So that is uh it for Wrap us. up so we can play some Zelda tonight. We're going to play a little bit of Zelda Randomizer after this, but what's going to happen is I'm going to restart stream so that um, my webcam actually works on stream rather mm -hmm. than being all fucking weird. So I'm going to set that up, and we'll be right back with some Zelda Randomizer. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us and chilling and listening to us ramble on about nothing. Because that's what we're here for. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the Patreon. That's what we do. Kitty's here for Honey Pop. Kitty, Kitty literally left for ninety percent of the pot. She was here for the beginning, and then now she's here for the end, and that's it. We're gonna play Zelda Randomizer. We're not gonna play Honey Pop because we can't play Honey Pop on Twitch. Now, if we become a, if we become a Pornhub streamer, then maybe. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.